When deploying the AFAD, make sure you are on the safe side of the road with all four flashers on. Detach the nested trailers by removing the link cage plates on both sides of the trailer. Lower the central wheel jack and turn the swivel until it is firmly on the ground. Detach the coupler, then unhook the chains and unplug the electrical cable. Raise the central wheel jack, lifting it off the ground while keeping it in a deployed position. Unlatch the battery box and turn the unit on using the V-Touch controller. Wait for the solid red light, which can take up to 10 seconds. When the light comes on, traffic will stop. Roll the AFAD to its desired position and lower both telespars and lock them into place. Lower the swivel jacks and make sure the unit is leveled. Make sure the wheels are also off the ground. Raise the central wheel jack and lock it into transport position. Install the gate and secure it. Next, push it into position until you hear a click and load the flag into the gate. Raise the mass from the transport position by cranking the winch. You must remain in deployment mode until both units are deployed and the system is activated. While in deployment mode, the remote control will not be functional. If necessary, open the gate using the touchscreen to let traffic through while you are setting up the second unit. Drive to the location where you wish to deploy the second AFAD. To install the second AFAD, deploy the swivel jacks at the back, Deploy the central wheel jack, unhook the chains, detach the coupler and raise the jack. Then lower both telespars and lock them into place. After, lower the swivel jacks and make sure the unit is leveled. Make sure the wheels are off the ground. 
and finally lift the central wheel jack and lock it into transport mode.